it's Donnie from Funky Buckler and today we're going to talk about one of my preferred drills for kind of capturing flow. So this is what I like to do with uh, intro students and then kind of throughout to just kind of show how different wards can blend into other motions and how we can bring, use our sword and buckler together to you know create flow, create actions um, because as we know when we're sword fighting we don't want to be static, we don't want to be stuck in one place, we want to be able to move. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in second ward just sword over the right shoulder, and we're gonna throw a descending cut over to our other side, and we're gonna end in first ward. So the big thing we wanna focus on is bringing the sword and buckler together, and then retreating back. Now from this position, we're gonna throw another high cut. And so from our buckler shoulder down to our knee, we're gonna rotate that elbow out, get the elbow out of the way so you don't clip it, and then you're gonna bring the sword through and end in fifth ward. So we'll start here cut through and in fifth. Now here we're actually going to throw some rising cuts. So we're actually going to bring it again to the buckler and we're going to want the buckler to rotate out. You know, as if we're fighting an opponent, it will go to the side where we're fighting. So we'll cut over and end in third ward. Now from third ward, we're going to throw another undercut, again, rotating the buckler so we can protect the side where, you know, theoretically our opponent's going. So we're going to cut and end in second. Now from second, we're going to cut horizontally, back to first, then back to second, and cut above. So for those who do saber, very similar to the uh, saber kind of path where cuts are going. So real quick, we're going to run through it. Now what we want to do is what we want to focus on is ending in long point, like 133 says, and being deliberate about where our sword is going. So we'll just run through it real quick. And without further ado, here we go. And again. We can repeat that over and over again. Now we can also change how we want to do it. So instead of going all the way to the ward, maybe we're just going through the motion, right? This is kind of simulating the more binding sequences we might see, right? And it's a little quicker. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or tightening it up. The big thing focusing on not extending the sword arm past the buckler. Now we can also do it with the addition of footwork, right? We can step with each cut. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, recover. Just working on getting the flow down, stringing actions together so we can be fluid in our bind. With that, 